tutorials. Today we are going through how to set up or how to report single touch payroll once you complete your pay slip for your employee. Alrighty, so let's jump right in. I already opened my wage master screen. So first of all, you just need to make sure you save the pay slip for um, all of your employee. Now there's two ways you can do this. Either you can do one by one employee, uh, which some people prefer to do, or you can save the pay slip for all of your employee for the pay period, then do the STP reporting in one hit. So, for example, I'm looking at this 22nd May uh, pay period ending date, which is not going to be relevant to you. Um, this is a test file again, so don't worry about the dates, but um, I will make sure you get the idea correctly. So I just saved the pay slip for uh, my one of my full-time employee, which is John. So if I go in the past page, this is where I just saved the pay slip. Now, if you do a mistake on this um, pay slip and you realize before you even the report the pay slip to the STP, you can always go into the file and go maintenance and select date pay, delete pay slip. And if you select the employee, John, you can see it's allow me to delete the most top one. Um, I mean, in this case, I can still delete all the uh, pay slip. The reason for this, because this is a test file and it is not been um, set up for the STP reporting, which is we don't have a valid ABN for this test file. Now, um, all you have to do is just tick the um, pay slip. If you want to delete, then you can go next and confirm it. I'm not going to do that. So with the STP reporting, so we so far we saved the pay slip. Then you click on reports. You scroll down to banking and EFT banking process payments. So once you click on this, you will get this prompt. Always save this backup um, in a safe location on your computer. Once the backup process is completed, it will automatically open the EFT processing wizard. So just click on next. Before you process any wages or through an EFT, just make sure you got the most updated banking details for your payroll and click on next. Then it's picking up the pay slip that I just saved. It's just selecting it's no payments, which is not really applicable for the employee. But in your case, you can see the gross total amount for this one. If I go into next pay slip EFT, um, again, click on next. Now in here, you just need to make sure you got the um, correct bank um, tip payment processing date um, for the EFT file. So which is mean if you are saving the pay slip today, but you're going to pay the employee, let's assume tomorrow, this should be on tomorrow's day. Um, the reason why it is importing this date is the one ATO will receive and what's the ATO requirement or the ATO obligation is you're supposed to report this TP before you paying into the employee's bank account. So if you're going to report it tomorrow or if you're going to actually do the payment on tomorrow, make sure you select the date for tomorrow. But if in the other case, if you're going to pay it today, just make sure you select it today's date. Once, once I complete next and it's and once you get into the finish um, screen, you will get now with the STP2 reporting, it's all combined. So you will get another prompt saying, you successfully saved the EFT wizard. You, do you want to report to the, or do you want to complete the STP reporting? All you have to do is just click on a yes, then it will open the STP wizard and you just need to um, click on the button say report to STP. Now, because I cannot really show you um, that part of the process in this setup file, but what I will do, we do have really detailed help sent articles in single touch payroll. So we got multiple um, help articles which covering pretty much all the um, possible um, assistance that you required with the reporting. Now, if I go with the how to process STP or single touch payroll, um, this is the detail step-by-step -step instructions so as we said just make sure you save the pay slip first then you go into banking EFT create the EFT file confirm the banking details you get the gross amount for your all of your employees you can click on the 
plus sign to get a detailed uh, view then you confirm it and date to process EFT file you selecting the correct date then once you complete it with the STP one it used to be getting that yellow explanation mark now as I said um, it is all combined with the STP2 version which you will get a prompt to say you, you want to complete the STP then you it will open the STP reporting portal which is similar to this screen then you all you have to do is just click on this report to get your button then you will get this declaration um, de declaration form then you tick this box at the bottom then click on report so once you click on report it will goes into received gateway awaiting response which means now you have successfully reported to the ATO server and it's waiting to be cleared out from the ATO in which will take um, depend it's really depend on how busy the ATO network is it can be up to a um, couple of minutes or it can be up to a few hours so once it's cleared through it will return as um, success with the greenish background so which means it's successfully reported as soon as you get this greenish um, success message or your, your employee can also log into the MIGO and um, see that payment came through now um, that's all for today guys so thank you for uh, watching everyone if you need more information please have a look at our help center articles or book a one-on-one -on -one consultancy and training session with our team all are linked in the description box and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and give this a video like if you enjoy it have a great day